welcome everybody here, including the mayor, the city council members, and city and county representatives, the YMCA staff, and of course our advisory board members, who are the people that have really worked to help gather the momentum and the inertia, get out of the inertia to get up and get this thing going. So I wanted to welcome you to this event and tell you it has multiple messages, not just uh, the creation of a uh, eight state-of-the-art uh, pickleball courts, but also these, des these are designed to be just like the ones that are in East Naples where they run the uh, uh, tournament, the national tournament, and so we're trying to get the best kind of material, etc. Right now we're anticipating, uh, barring any rain, uh, we're anticipating opening up in mid-March. The city stepped up big time to help us uh, fund this, and uh, this is an important step. But we're also working with them in terms of access to the pool, using some of our other facilities, etc., uh, in a cooperative way to help provide for this community all the needed facilities that they have to have. To use a football analogy, offense likes to see offense, and that's exactly why I think the city of Bonita Springs got involved here. This has been a wonderful, wonderful uh, reunion. It's been, um, as you know, there have been some difficulties in the past, but this second generation, if you will, has been phenomenal. And I can't possibly begin to um, thank everybody that needs to be thanked, but when you look at uh, Bonita Springs as being the gateway to the Gulf, well, guess what? Wouldn't it be nice if we kind of looked like something when we were at the beach, right? And this exercise and this regiment uh, in Bonita Springs is, is fantastic. We have 20, 20 parks in town, as you know, and this is another example of a public-private partnership, a successful marriage, if you will. And Bonita Springs was named recently the second healthiest small town in America, so let's strive for number one. There's been a lot of great things uh, happening in Bonita Springs, and this is just another one of those examples. Um, when you look at what the YMCA has done in terms of the pilot pool program, reaching out to the community, and uh, outreach to the community in general, letting, letting folks in that otherwise would not be able to, to afford being here, and access to this facility is just phenomenal. When you look at the current city council, and you know, I, I say the current city council because obviously they, they had a piece as did past councils. You have Amy Carumba in District 1, Councilman Greg DeWitt in District 2, Steve Schlachta in District 3, Peter O'Flynn in District 4, Mike Gibson in District 5, and Fred Forbes in District 6. When you look at the members past and present of city council, and I certainly know you have current uh, councilman and deputy mayor Peter O'Flynn that certainly led this charge, but you also have councilman Bill Lonkart, who's here with us today, that's been on the board of directors, as has Janet Martin, Fred Forbes, Mike Gibson. But again, I, again, I'd like to thank the partnership, the city, the mayor, uh, everybody involved with this. Uh, Mark Sewin played an integral part in this in many, many, many ways, and the Bonita Board. So we can't ignore those. And again, I appreciate everything they got, they, they got done. And when we opened this Y a couple years ago, four or five, six years ago, we did say it was going to be an integral part in the community and that we would be here for your community. You have to develop what you guys want. And so this is step one in that, in that in evolution. So we got pickleball course going on. As Mark said, we do plan other renovations for this building and this property. Uh, some of those are underway right now. We're talking about a potential preschool and uh, youth center. So we're looking to be more of an integral part in the community to take care of the seniors, the youth, and, and, the, and the little kids at the same time. So, so we plan on working harder, being more diligent to work with you. Any suggestion you got have to help us in, in regards to this, how we can work with any organization in this community, please let us know. We'll, we'll, we'll work with them and get the job done. So now let's just gather around, break the, break the ground, and get out of here. Okay. One, two, three. Round of applause.
have Dominic Catalano, um, owner of 3D Pickleball. Um, we're here at the Benita YMCA where I run um, pickleball here. Um, we've been going here now for a little over a month. The courts have been open. Um, so if you haven't been out here, it'd be a great time to come on out and see it. I give cl clinics and lessons um, seven days a week out here. So if you're ever looking to learn the game, come on out. Um, but we're going to show you a little bit about what pickleball is. Um, we'll give you a brief description of what pickleball is. So um, it's a game combined with uh, combines the sports of ping pong, tennis, um, <coughs> and um, racquetball, and kind of goes back and forth between um, skill and strategy. Um, but it is a, a great game um, played with a paddle and a wiffle ball um, on a smaller court. Um, so that's the appeal to a lot of people is that you don't have to run around as much as tennis. The game itself is uh, you play two out of three games to 11. Uh, you have to win by two. 99% um, of the time it's played doubles. Uh, you do see singles, but more times when you see singles it's in tournaments um, and things like that. But we do play doubles. Um, and one of the good things about pickleball is very, um, we call old school with scoring. And you can only score when your team is serving. Kind of like volleyball when we were all growing up and playing volleyball. Now they do rally scoring. Um, but pickleball is still the same thing as far as you can only score when your team is serving. Um, a little bit of strategy. Um, you want to get to um, the kitchen line, which is a line up. Um, seven feet from the net. Once you get up there, that's where you want to be and that's where you want to play from. This game isn't played baseline to baseline. Um, it's played up at that kitchen line. Uh, so that's your strategy as you can see here. Both players are trying to get up to the kitchen line and then the other side is trying to get up as well and then that's where the game is played. And then one other thing that they have is a um, what we call the two bounce rule. And the two bounce rule states that once the serving team serves to the receiving team, they have to let it bounce. That's one bounce. And then when they return it back to the serving team, the serving team also has to let it bounce. That's the second bounce. Then after that, we can either take the ball out of the air or we can let it bounce. So what that two bounce rule does is it really puts the receiving team, not the serving team, at the advantage, which is kind of just the opposite of tennis where the serving team has a huge advantage if you have a good serve. Thank you.